Am I the smartest Roblox YouTuber or am I just really dumb? Well, today we're going to find out because I'm going to be playing Shovelware's Brain Game. Now, you may have seen some other Roblox YouTubers like Think Noodles, Sketch, and Creecraft play this. So today I'm going to find out if I can beat their scores. Now, you guys can play along at home. All you have to do is put your scores down in the comments, but be honest. Now, before we jump into it, I would appreciate it if you guys smash that like button. Now, let's jump in. <laughs> While I'm waiting for the game to start, I'm just having a little bop. Ah, here come the audience. <laughs> Uh, guys, it's me versus God. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna win this. We're doing pretty well. So the studio is greenlit a brand new episode of Shovelware's Brain Game. He's bright, he's yellow, and more than a little off-putting. Your host, the Dancing Banana. Hello to all of you watching at home. That's right, nobody wanted to touch the air and rice to this production with a 20-foot pole, so we made our own TV network. Hey, you come here often? What category are you ordering? Uh... Monumental Landmarks. Okay. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Bordy! Hey, give it up for Bordy! I like visual questions. Here's one. Okay. Look at this photograph! Depicted oh, nice. is a famous landmark. What is its name? Uh, Great Pyramid of Giza. Please tell me I'm not going to get the first question. Correct. Wrong. What? That's the Great Sphinx in front of it. Oh, come on. Well, I fulfilled my duties. Okay. Bye for now. Not off to a good start. <laughs> I've never even heard of that pyramid. What? Right, what categories are you going to pick? Pick Zoo Pals. Is he not picking? Zoo Pals. Oh, hey, there we go. Time to test your animal knowledge. Bonus prize? Oh, wait, somebody quit. God quit. God left the chat. What prize? A miniature version of the famous statue, The Thinker. Okay. Just think of all its many uses. Hmm. Hmm. Get it? Hmm. I think you could think of one if you thought about it long enough. Oh, dude. These jokes are so bad. Ants! What? Ants! Ants man! There's a lot of those guys all across oh, the globe. Just no picnic is safe. But how many ants are there? Like, total? Uh, ten quintillion! I don't know. This is just a guess. Is it gonna be? Nope. What? Come on! Twenty quadrillion ants? Are you kidding me? That's a lot of ants. Uh... Taste test. Okay. This category is a particular aroma and a tantalizing flavor. It's time for taste test. Okay. I love. Pizza. Me oh, too. I cannot get enough of it. I'm like some kind of unspecified turtle superhero. If I wanted to go to the origin of pizza and experience it in its true, authentic fashion, where would I go? Italy! You know, if it says Argentina, I'm quitting right now. Hey! Finally, I got one right. Uh, I just kind of wandered onto the set. Pick a category. Okay. Uh, flags of the world. Flags of the world. Let's see how rubbish I am at geography. Here comes the coolest screen around. It's Bordy the Smart Boy. On the back, Bordy. Uh, my contract clearly stated one question per game, but sure, here's another. Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to? Antarctica? Oh, I bet it's the North Pole. I bet it's the North Pole. Sure, whatever. Oh, I got it right! Let's go! Oh, I thought I was in the lead then. Even has an emoji? Well, well. Did you guys get that one right? Let me know in the comments if you did. 
Thanks for having me. See you next time. Bye, Bordy. <laughs> Are the allegations against you true? Hey, yo. <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be those kind of allegations. I thought it was going to be something a bit more sus. Okay, what's the next category, my dude? Ooh, amazing space. What are you going to pick? Amazing space. Oh, there you go. I don't know if he picked that or if that's just one they picked automatically. Okay, different planets are classified under different types based on mass, orbit, and what they're made of, among other things. Okay. What type of planet is Jupiter classified as? Uh, gas giant. Oh, dude, he left it right at the last second. Yes! Let's go! In the lead! Welcome to the game! Unicorn and myself, trains, planes, and automobiles. Artistic integrity. Ah. The Japanese art of paper folding is popular all around the world. Paper this. cranes, paper planes, paper unicorns, you Origami. name it. Naturally, being from Japan, this art form has a Japanese name. What is it? <laughs> Please tell me I haven't messed this up. Yes! Well done. Did I get it right? Yes! Did you guys know that one? My turn to pick a category. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, it ain't gonna be maths. Let's do trains, planes, and automobiles. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Okay. It's lots and lots of trains, and planes, and other vehicles. You know, I gotta say, I love trains! I'm here at the train station just looking at this like delightfully old-timey train. There's a whole bunch of exhaust coming out of its smokestack. <laughs> but why is there also smoke coming out of the bottom? Uh, it's not smoke, it's steam? I don't know! Good enough! Good enough. Yes, I got it right. I thought it was gonna be like a trick question. Oh, what's he gonna pick? Big laundry. Uh, Big puzzle laundry. Puzzle. Oh, what is this? Okay. Hey, so shoelaces, right? What are those little tips on the ends called again? Ah, uh, 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 an aglet. <laughs> <laughs> that is just a guess. I'm sure I've heard of it before, but uh, that's my best guess. Ah, oh, yes, it was! It's lit, fam. It's about to get lit up in here. Classic lit, that is. Bonus prize. What is it? A new car! Some assembly required. It's this year's newest make and model. Ikea car. Straight from Sweden. With four-wheel drive and enough horsepower to power a small city, the 2024 Evolvo Fart Hinder is sure to take you wherever you need to go and <laughs> Evolvo further. Fart just as soon as you put it together. Name and all car. you need is an Allen wrench. Really? Wow. Alas, poor Yorick! Uh, lying? Uh, I knew him well. What? Oh, I knew him, Horatio! Mm. Right, what's the next category? What are they gonna pick? Memorable events! Yes! Oh no. <laughs> Where did that dude just come from? Just ran across the set. Another bonus prize. Oh, that's a his nephew. new cart! Somebody left it out in the parking lot of Marsh's grocery store. Can you right. believe it? We can't believe they're letting us use his likeness. It's Bordy, the smart boy. Welcome My back. flight leaves in an hour, but here I am. Look at this image of a famous historical event. What event is this? Uh, 
That one. <laughs> Wait, what were the other that options? That works for me. I was wondering something about Lincoln. Hey, I won the bonus prize. Thanks for having me. See you next time. Bye, Bordy. Ooh, my turn to pick a category. Let's see what we got. Eyes on the prizes. What's the word? Uh, oh, what's, go, what's the, the word? word? What's the word to describe the way a given language is used in a specific region or country? Dialect. What? What? Vernacular? Bruh. I'm gonna Google that after this. I'm sure he's wrong. You're this episode's grand champion! Hey! That's all for this round, but we'll be right back with another episode in just a few minutes. So guys, I don't think I managed to beat Creek or Think Noodles, but I'll have to double check that. But what did you guys get? Let me know your scores down in the comments. And are you smarter than me? Or are you dumber than me? If you guys enjoyed that, drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay mega.